Hello friends, it's me and today we are checking out some not so handy dandy design fails This is the worst sink I have ever seen. Ew, I hate it. I hate it. Whoever made this sink, you're going to jail What is the point? Putting your filthy hands where the water comes out of it. You know, joke's on you I'm gonna use my big toe to turn on the faucet what kind of spoon is this? You go to an all vegan, organic, non-GMO, farm to table, healthy food place, and they got wooden spoons, but like, what is this? That's a spatula. I could flip a pancake with that bad boy. How am I supposed to eat soup with this? The best way to eat soup is just taking the cup and just slurping it up. I don't even waste my time with spoons anymore. It's fork or nothing. If you think I eat ice cream with a fork, you're absolutely right. Now I feel safe. That's the safest door. It's got two locks on it. You close it. Wait, what's the point? So nobody can like push it. When I'm checking if there's anybody in the bathroom stall, I just go in and like, not nah, empty. Why are all these stalls full? And then I realize that they're pulled. Ain't nobody gonna pull a stall door open. Personally, I push them. And if anybody pushes that one, you'll be safe. So just hurry up. That's what I do when something's wrong with the public bathroom stall door. I hurry. For the low price of one dollar, McDonald's selling mice. Wait a sec. McDonald's ice. McMice. So you selling ice or mice? A 10 pound bag of mice? That's a pretty good deal. Why do they have to put the M there? You know, I walked in to a McDonald's. I know it's a McDonald's. You don't gotta put the logo on everything. <laughs> this is the stupidest design I've ever seen. You know, instead of putting the ceiling fan in the middle of the room, we're gonna put it on, on the side, right there. And oh, there's not enough space for the little propeller. You know, instead of moving the fans in the middle of the ceiling, no, 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 no. We're gonna cut a whole entire pole. Yeah, whoever did this, go to jail. You would thrive in there. So they're building a house, and the driveway that leads up to the garage is just at an incline. Why did you put it up so high? Shouldn't it be like a slope? This is your car. Put the bumper on the way in, and then just scrape it all the way up to the top. This is what happens when you cut corners. We thought about making an offer on this house until we saw these stairs. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, those stairs look pretty lit though. It's like Minecraft. Imagine climbing up those. But like, who in their right mind would build this? Like, were normal stairs not good enough for you? Bruh, who invented this? Ah, oh. You know, maybe you shouldn't just like full send it every time you turn it on. You know, be gentle with it. You know, this would actually be perfect if you're filling up buckets and you, you have them on the ground. That might be what these little sinks are for. That is a horrible design. Why does it look like a Range Rover? No, I, I need to know what kind of car this is. The Prindle. You accidentally put your car in park instead of lowering the volume. Who decided to do this? That's a horrible idea. I needed to know what car this is. Dang, they're really gatekeeping this bad design. I can't find it. Hey, they got a Spider-Man tissue box. And then you see where the tissues come out from. Is that part of his powers? Does web come out of anywhere else but his? Never mind. Perfectly positioned for you to pull one out. It was a little spidey hole. You could have chosen literally any other picture of him. No, it had to be this one. They knew exactly what they were doing. This dentist's office looks like you are inside of a mouth and like all of the chairs are teeth. Okay, this might be terrifying to kids. Like walking into a mouth, looking around like, I don't wanna be here anymore. But this is actually really cool. It's a lot of effort for a dentist's office. Hello, Billy, have a seat over here. Yeah, on the molar. That's the tooth we're gonna pull out today. Do not exceed 20 children. 20 children where? You can't be running over 20 children, that's that's the max. Okay, that, that seems pretty doable, right? This was such a poorly executed sign. I'm guessing don't go over 20 miles per hour like the speed limit. Stay on the sidewalk, that's why I drive on the road, beep beep. I'm gonna put in all these drawers. So they're gonna be like halfway into the wall. So like technically you can't use them. You know, you can't actually like pull them out and put things in them. They look like drawers. So you can say you have drawers, four of them actually. But what's the point when you, when you can't even open them? I feel like some contractors just literally don't even care. Just make it work. We can't even use these cabinets. What's the point of even putting handles on them at that point? Whoever did this just straight up stupid. Do you know, it sounded like a good idea to get a shirt with some pink flowers on it, but flowers ended up looking like nipples and now you're looking like a nipple monster. It's just such a horrible design for a sweater. 
I guess there's no point in a lock that works anyway. Okay, there is so much wrong with this. You're in a hotel room. Why is there a glass door for the bathroom? Like, what if you stay in with a homie? Why is there no privacy in this room? Oh, they gave you the lovish suite. Oh, but this is the best part. It can only be locked from the outside. So if somebody goes in to take a toilet, you can just trap them in there. They are stuck until you decide to free them. So you're gonna sit here on this toilet and think about your actions. They put a paper, never let the paper towel get that long. This library is now selling free coffee. For only one dollar, you can have free coffee. Free of what? Like, do I gotta pay or no? You know, in this economy, one dollar is basically free. Even the dollar store don't sell things for a dollar anymore. Could someone explain to me the concept of indoor balconies? Is this a dorm? What is the point of this? Who bothered building these? You know, you have a balcony outside so you can like sit outside, get some fresh air, look at the view. But like indoor, you can see you like in the hallway, I guess. Maybe spit down on other guests. What a waste of time building that. Okay, but have you actually seen one of these cars in real life that have a wrap on it that's like a mirror so that they're like completely reflective and then the sun literally like reflects off of them. Okay, you've probably seen it online and it's like, whoa, I can make my car into a mirror. But like, what if somebody's like trying to merge? Oh, I just see myself right there. Ah! And then just crash into you because they literally cannot see your car. It's like wearing an invisibility cloak on the road. Bro, who designed this? A door for the skinniest of visitors. Who going through that? Oh, that is the closet where you keep all the naughty children. All I wanna know is how. A chair out of a MacBook or a MacBook out of a chair. Apple gonna call this the iChair Pro. Starting at $2,999. This is the worst purchase I've ever made. He's wonky. What's wrong with it? I mean, you bought a diagonal cup. You knew exactly what you were getting. Me purchasing diagonal cup online. <laughs> Me hate diagonal cup when it arrives and it's actually diagonal. Wouldn't it be easier to like drink from the, the tilted side? I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. I've seen worse. Oh, and then there's this guy who installed the lock right behind the handle. There's no privacy in this house. Sir, this is the jewelry store. We, we need to be able to lock our doors after we close. Tough luck, buddy. Guess put a lock on the inside, maybe? This is making my head hurt. They made a slide. There's a section missing. Where did it go? It's not a slide, that's a fall. It's a trap. You're gonna slide for a hot second before falling into a face full of mulch. I hate mulch. There's just something about it. Why does soap dispenser say ketchup? Now I know ain't nobody putting ketchup in there. You don't need no fancy soap bottle for some ketchup. Also, who be pumping their ketchup like soap? Psychopaths, that's who. That, I've not seen a symmetrical circular sink, mate, look. But nah, I'm loving it. What's in here? The toilet has another door. Then, oh wait, there's no door here. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh, it's a door that turns into two doors. Wait, did they do that on purpose? So you can use the door for the toilet or for the whole bathroom, but not both. Pick a privacy barrier, only one though. <laughs> Who put that there? Now what a perfect place for a toilet, just in that little corner under the staircase. How to perfectly utilize dead space. How do you even get there? I feel like I have to unlock double jump to just get over to that hidden spot in the map. You know, I would expect there to be like a hidden treasure chest or something, but no, it's a toilet. And then this one! Nah, they made a whole entire bathroom. There's no doors, but like bathroom in the middle of the stairs. I mean, how long is the staircase? Are there that many stairs? That halfway in between there is a toilet you know just in case you gotta go there's no sink though however they were gracious enough to leave you some toilet paper <laughs> i like this one they got rock climbing to get to the urinal this is for all you gym bros challenge accepted oh wait a second how do you even use this i ain't never seen a half toilet before where's the rest of it is it on the other side of the wall can you even like lift it open did they just build the wall and just forget about the toilet right in the middle of it like ah oh, no I just leave it there you know just in case you know, imagine sharing a poo with the person on the other side of the wall without even knowing it. So you feel a little splash on your cheeks. Like, oh, that wasn't me. Mine hasn't even come out yet. Ooh, I don't like that. Hey, they got the 64 pack of crayons on sale. Wait a second. Why are they all orange? What are the other colors? It ain't even worth it at this point unless you're trying to color an orange or perhaps a self-portrait of a giant carrot. But anyways, that's all.
all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.